Hey everybody, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to look at Claude Hugh from uh, Anthropic. So I believe last week they released an upgrade to their model. And well, before, before that, it was kind of, you know, Claude was only available in certain spots, but now they have released their own website with their own interface. So Claude.ai is what we're looking at right now. And so I thought today we'd get into uploading some files because one nice thing about cloud is you're able to upload some files and we can kind of put the model to the test and kind of see what we can get out of this thing. So let's dive into it right now. And I think first off, we should get into the, the, the file aspect. I think one thing that sets cloud apart is for free, you're able to add five files at 10 megabytes each. And it's very much on like PDFs, CSVs text files so no no images yet or anything like that but you know i think for free it's a it's a great place to start so let's get into let's get a pdf let's see what that looks like all right so i uploaded a research paper that i found so it's you know it's a decent sized pdf and you give me a summary of this Let's see how it handles, how it handles that. Now it's taking a minute, which, you know, makes sense. All right, here's the key points from the paper. The paper proposes retentive networks, retnets, a new architecture for long language models, a low cost interface, efficient long sequencing modeling, and their performance to transformers. So this is really, really cool because I, I stumbled upon this paper that talked about long, large language models and a new, I guess, alternative transformers. And that's so, so very technical, very heavy stuff. So a nice little summary there. Pretty cool. And give me the, the three most important points ever. So one thing I wanted to see is how well does it remember the PDF earlier in the chat, right? Okay, so I'm getting three clear bullet points. Pretty cool. All right, pretty cool. Like that. And then, oh, but this one. Can you write a blog post based on uh, paper? Ink it. Cool. Um, let's see how well I can do some, some, some writing with this kind of source material. Okay. All right. So obviously I, I did not read the paper, so I'd, I'd have to fact check some of this, right? But that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Okay. So whenever I, whenever I test a new model, I do have to ask it a certain question. Can you make a vegan meal plan? Let's switch things up in, in here. Meal plan. Three people under. I think I've asked every, every, every model that I've tested this, a similar type question. So what's interesting about Claude is it feels like, you see, it, it will be interesting, just a side note of how, how UI will play into this and how like, you know, certain, you know, it feels a little slower than than some other things, but I don't, it probably isn't. It's just probably how, how it's presenting the, the thinking to us, but okay. Three, it gave me a three day meal plan, three day meal plan for three people. And it should come under. Okay. I don't know where three days came from, but that's cool. And. Oh, pretty solid, you know, pretty solid. I don't think there's anything that jumps out at me. It's, it's crazy, but okay. All right, I downloaded some CSVs, so let's get in a couple of those. So I got some Search Console data for the StackFax website, which, you know, is lighting, this is, has so much traffic. So I got the number of pages that it's indexed. So. All right, so we have, oh, Claude bounced me out. Let's try that again. Oh, wait, here we go. We're back in action. All right, so this CSV file contains the number of pages that are indexed and non-indexed, as well as impressions over time. 
for the uh, last three months. So the number of index pages increased from 53 to 74. And the number of non-index pages should fluctuate trend downwards overall from 115 to 162. Or was it was that like three days ago? Okay. So cool little summary of, of the CSV file, especially if you're working with a lot of data, it's nice to, so it's nice to see, you know, some kind of, yeah, kind of like analysis on some stuff for you, right? If you're, if you're trying to, you know, do some complex things. Okay. So this is about sites. All right, so let's try one, let's do one more demo here. Let's do all four of my search console files. Okay. Tell me data, please give us my most interesting finding. All right. So this is all search console CSV files. And again, I think it's over a three month period. So I just want to see if Claude can just kind of give us a cool little summary here. All right. So index pages increase and impressions peaked on May 17th, but then started declining in July, even as index pages increase. Okay. That's good finding. So they found some critical, some critical issues that I shouldn't be fixing. Let's see. Key findings are incre are the increase in index pages over time, peaking and then the, the declining impressions. So, and then let's see now some technical problems. So, not bad for you know learning for CSV files. These are pretty small, but cool to kind of put those things together and kind of get some some kind of analysis there. You know, I think you know this. I think this this update is going to get people talking about Claude a lot more. I think the file uploading being accessible to more people. So it's not going to be behind the paywall, like the code interpreter is on chat GPT, which is again, it's not, not a one-to-one -one comparison, but you're at least able to do some analysis here with some data and get some PDFs uploaded. Um, so super, super interesting stuff from Claude. Um, it's interesting now because there's. There's definitely going to be with some of, some of the stuff out there, like, oh, Claude's going to be good for this and chat is going to be good for this. And then Bard's going to be good for this. So obviously over time, competition's good. More and more people putting things out is going to be good. And you know, Claude being free, no reason not to check it out. I think, oh, you know, you know, it's worth playing around, especially if you're looking to work with some PDFs, you don't have to go to any of those, you know you know, chat GPT plugins or anything like that. You can kind of use everything here, which is nice. And, you know, it'd be interesting to see kind of what happens with Claude over time. I feel like this was a, this was a massive update compared to, to one. And, you know, I'm excited to see, see what, what's, what happens. And I look forward to kind of keep playing with this and it's become a part of, you know, part of my workflow. I now keep a tab open with Claude joining the chat GPT and bar tabs. So definitely gonna be playing with this a lot more in the coming in the coming weeks. But uh, yeah, thanks for checking it out. Let us know if anybody has any good findings with bar with bar with Claude and if you guys come up with any interesting prompts. But uh, thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time.